what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you have not been paying attention your boy was out of commission for a couple of days but today i am back feeling much better um it's just a recurring thing that happens with me um times um because i get these really really bad headaches um and it's something that i've gone to the doctor about and you know they've just i you know all i do is i sleep it off I just sleep it off I just sleep it off um, you know and it's mainly because of you know unnecessary stress most of the time unnecessary stress that I place on myself um, you know sometimes as an entrepreneur sometimes as a, a person that grinds 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 you know what I'm saying you can overwork yourself you, you know what I'm saying um, so as a result of that you know, most of the time, because I do a lot of the stuff that I do online and stuff like that, most of the time, I'm just staring at a screen. So for sometimes, my body is just telling me, hey, you need to rest, you need to rest, take your eyes off the screens, and all of this other stuff. So if, you, if the, you know, there's 24 hours in a day, I can promise you I spend at least 16 to 18 of those hours looking at a screen. Not because it's quarantine, I'm not still out here trying to grind. I'm getting good sleep, better sleep now than I was before. Even though things are going to get back to normal um, very soon, as I've told you guys that. Um, I told you guys that um, um, past week, the past week, this is Sunday, the past week, it has been kind of, you know what I'm saying, half and half. They did open up where my business is, but customers are still not really, you know what I'm saying, not really coming around yet, so I'm still kind of like iffy, iffy if I should open back up, but I did go there to make sure that everything was okay, blah, 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 um, you know, so any, any little comments, I mean, back in business is back in business, right, but, I, but I'm not dedicating those hours yet to go there right now. You get what I'm saying? So for now, you know, still here, still going to do thing. But as I said, I need to, um, usually it's a day, you know what I'm saying? And I feel okay. But then, um, on Saturday, um, I was halfway through the day and I was like, uh, mm -hmm. can't do this right now. <laughs> can't do any reactions. It's about to do reactions and immediately, like when I thought of it, and as I said, it's due to undue stress uh, most of the time. So I just have to take a couple of days or whatever that situation is. Elf is, is, is always a better way to go. Take care of yourself before you take care, you know what I'm saying, of other things. It's just how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to make sure of that. So, um, but I thank you guys, though, for leaving all those comments on that post that I made, you know, tell me to get well. Um, you know, I'm always going to let you guys know when I'm not feeling good because I don't want you to sit there expect and react. Regardless, I mean, you're going to have to sit and wait if, even if I don't tell you, but I'd rather tell you guys because I would like I like you guys to know what's going on with me at any given time, because I know that, you know, some of you guys are genuinely concerned you know, about the people that you, um, you know, provide entertainment for you. So that's just what it is. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for all those comments. I really did appreciate them um, as soon as I got to see them. So just want to let you guys know that I'll be saying that on every reaction I say for today. Hopefully I remember. Anyways, The Walking Dead. That's what we're here for. I'm not going to waste any more time. I've thanked you guys today. I'll do two episodes. The reason why I might only do two, I might do all four. Okay. I might do all four, but if two, if the second one is fire, I'm going to do three. But if I do three, I'm going to have to do four. So don't worry about it. If we end up doing four, we do four. Let's get into it. those five four the first four 
not the, the fifth one. The fifth one, really good episode, kind of like to kind of take your mind off of what just happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of times, series will do that, just like what they did early in season in season um, six with Morgan giving us the story, the backstory of, of Morgan. Um, you know, just kind of settle things down because if you keep doing hits like this, then you won't really get your audience to engage. So I understand why they did it because you can't just give up. You can't just be hits after hits after hits after hits after hits. You're probably some people who are too emotionally connected might stop watching the show. You get what I'm saying? Then you'll get too, you'll get too desensitized to what's happening. You get what I'm saying? And now you're just, just expecting these things to happen you know, when, you know, um, and it, yeah, and it will cause you to, you know what I'm saying? Like desensitize to the situation. So you don't want that. So I get what they're doing. So now let's talk about these, these, the four first episodes. Then I'll talk about, um, season seven, episode two by itself. Okay. So these four episodes, the way, how they set things up, right? I was a little bit confused af at episode 15, a little bit. I didn't say anything, but I was a little bit confused about the, the, the how the timeline was going. But then they picked they picked it up and they did very well. So if I should find a flaw, there was a place where it was like um, I was thinking there was a plot hole, but then they kind of filled it in. So I was like, OK, 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 that's that's fine, because I wasn't really following the timeline very well. And that's that's probably my fault. To be honest, that's probably my fault because I was so into what I was watching. I, I was like, maybe I missed it. Um, but then it kind of filled it in for me. Um, so, but so that aside, that aside, those four episodes was absolute greatness when it comes on to TV. I've never, I've seen episodes in The Walking Dead that were great. I don't think it came... I think it came close to being my top episode that I've seen. That epi episode 16 of season 6, the final the, the 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 season finale. That episode, bro, it had me like I I felt like I was going to go in panic mode because I didn't know what was going to happen. It was stretched. I think the final scene in episode 16 was about 10 to 15 minutes long that's how long that all of that was happening from them taking um maggie out of the rv and start walking with her like the whole thing leading up to the end of the episode when negan um smashed abraham over the head right that freaking scene bro was absolute torture it was torture because I knew somebody was going to die because of we know how from all the lore that the build up to this villain character, right? From all the lore that was building up for this character, the entire time, bro, the entire time I knew somebody was going to die. As I said, the lore was this dude comes in and he demands what he wants and they kill somebody as an example. So that's how I knew somebody was going to die. Okay. That has been said about Negan from last to meet him. Right. But I know why you guys wanted me to watch this episode because this episode is when we actually got introduced to the actual Negan guy. Right. And yo, this dude is not a joke. The governor ain't got shit on Negan. Okay. The governor, who else we went up against? Who else did we, did we go up against? The wolves? <sighs> Trash. <laughs> Trash. Okay. Negan is the real deal and they did not pull punches for him. And I love that. I love the fact that they did not pull punches for him. They made me feel like I was kneeling there with, with Rick. That is not an easy thing to capture in cinema, in TV, in whatever. It is not easy to establish that in 10 to 15 minutes of a character coming out of an RV 
our RV, by the way, right? And to set that kind of precedent and to set that kind of presence, that kind of eerie ple presence as in shit is about to go down. We just don't know what the hell is going to be. This nigga is for real. So that's where that is. So I was, yo, when I tell you guys, cause you guys was seeing it on my face. I was distraught. I was like, yo, this dude is about to do some crazy shit. I don't know what it is, but he's about to do some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And it proved me right. As I said, I talked about it a little bit before I started. I, th I think before I started episode two of season seven, I thought about it at the end of season of episode one of season seven. Right. I talked about it where I said that what they did was brilliant right it was torture but it was brilliant writing wise narrative wise it was brilliant and oh my god i gotta look up that guy's name because i don't know his name the guy that plays negan he played that part to perfection literally perfection like i couldn't have asked for any other actor to do that differently it was the anticipation you you being on Rick's side and you're like hanging on every word that this character that we just met, you're hanging into every word that he says because it's because he's, he's he's a bad person, but he's so nonchalant about it. I love villains that are like that. I love villains that are like that. It's like, this is no bullshit. You get what I'm saying? You dying, me killing you, is not... A, I don't sent... There's no sentimentality here, bro. I don't give a shit about you. I will kill you in a heartbeat. No questions asked. Okay? And I'm going to talk shit while doing it. Rick don't really talk shit. This man humbled Rick, bro. I don't think there is a person on earth that Negan cares about at this point. Like, there's no way he has somebody he cares about. There's no way he has a family. If he does, I guess we'll find that out later. But if he does, man, there's no way they know what he does. Because this guy is beyond ruthless that is even an understatement when it comes on to Negan because I'm gonna tell you guys this bro I've I've watched a lot of TV villains I didn't bro Glenn with the eye popping out bro, I didn't know they would have even shown that I thought it was going to be something of a sort like how Abraham that nah, bro, they let the dude with the head sink in, bro. I mean, that would have never fly on, 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 um, on regular cable TV. You get what I'm saying? Network TV, I should say. Thank God this is like cable because they can get away with a lot of stuff like that because, um, um, on AMC, um, you had The Walk, not The Walking Dead, Breaking Bad was on AMC too. And we got to see a lot of gore, a lot of gore that you wouldn't see on network TV. But man, the head sinked in, the eyeball popping out. Maggie, I'll find you. Oh, that shit killed me, bro. That shit killed me. Bro, as I said, man, they did they did Abraham a certain way where they use that. They use Abraham as a subtle blow. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're coming in the ring. Negan came in the ring and he jabbing. You know what I'm saying? He he jabbing. He ain't, he ain't giving you the knockout punch. He's just jabbing. So that's what the writers was like. Yo, we just jabbing at them right now. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody is really attached to Abraham as a character like that. Like nobody. I don't think anybody 
was going to cry tears over him. It's shocking. But ain't nobody ain't going to cry tears over Abraham. Like you saw the reaction between, for me, between the difference between reacting to Abraham and reacting to um, Glenn. Because Glenn is coming from season one. He's the guy that saved Rick, bro. I don't know if you guys remember this. He's the guy that saved Rick from under the tanker when under the the, the tanker, the tanker, right? He's the guy that saved Rick, bro. I think that was like episode two of season one or three or something of the sort and got Rick out of there. He's the one that was on the freaking walkie talkie trying to help Rick get out from from the hog in Atlanta. Bro, Glenn is the OG. So there's no way you cannot have an attachment to to um to Glenn. He has one of the best story arcs or character arcs in this show. And they played this okie doke game with us in season six, letting us think he died. Then you brought him back and now you kill him in season seven, episode one, my guy. What? <sighs> That's brutal. Good writing, but brutal. Because you heard me. I thought it was Rick at the end of season six. I thought it was Rick. Because I was like, is it Rick? It looked like he went back to Rick. Because I was like, if you want to humble the group, if you want to humble the group and let everybody fall in line, you kill Rick. But also, this man did an even more savage thing. I'm going to kill two of your friends in the most brutal fashion ever by beating their skulls in. And then... I'm going to take a road trip with you and humiliate the hell out of you. Then I'm going to try to force you. You know what I'm saying? Like you still looking at me like you the boss. I'm going to have you cut off your son's arm. Until I see you beg for mercy. You not getting off. Bruh. Let me tell y'all something, man. As I said, man, the entire time you hear me saying, take the L. Just take the L, guys. You are not in a position to negotiate. You are not in a position because all of y'all fucktards leave the, the freaking home. All of them left home. And you hear what I was saying from the minute they left home. Why the hell is everybody leaving? Everybody on this emotional roller coaster thing. Like, we've been through all of this, man. I get where everybody is coming from, man, but it's, it, I, I, I thought I thought these guys would have learned. I'm coming out of focus. I thought these guys would have learned their lesson by now about not to act on emotion because that shit gets people killed. But no, we're still out here with this emotional shit. Carol almost got herself killed. Drawing Morgan out there. Thank God they're safe. Daryl left. Daryl left. Freaking Rosita. And Rosita. Who else? Rosita. Michonne. Was it Carl? No. It was Glenn. Right? Went out to go look for him. Have to go far. Because we got to go find him. Right? Then we, we then Denise died earlier. She started this this chain of events of everybody just acting stupid, man. And then we end up in this position where Maggie gets sick. Nobody knows what, that Glenn, Daryl, um, was it Abraham? And no, no, it wasn't. I just called the name Michonne, right? Michonne. Daryl, Rosita, right, and Glenn got captured. 
right? And and I think that's where I was confused. How are they how are they leaving in the morning to go take care of something else and they haven't and they didn't think to go look I think that's where I was like a little bit confused on the timeline right there. Now that I'm remembering, I think that's where I was I was a little bit confused or concerned, I would say, about what's going on. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because it was kind of like when episode 16 started, we just saw them loading up in the van. And I thought they were going out to go look. But no, they were going to make a trip to go get Maggie help. From how from the um from episode 15, when we saw her collapse with eat, with eat, eat what's her name? Eden, eat it, eat it. <laughs> I don't remember her name, right? Something of the sort. She got, she was there with Maggie, right? So I was a little confused on the timeline of what's going on because I thought that would have been priority. But then I was forgetting that Denise died and we didn't really get to see if something was actually wrong with Maggie because they cut the scene as soon as she collapsed. So that was where I was confused because I was like, okay, you know, pregnant women get cramps. It's not that big a deal. I know they need to see a doctor if they, if you know, if, if it's unbearable, but that's not very unusual to see um, a pregnant woman collapse, holding their belly, cramping. You know, if there's blood, you know, that could be signs of a miscarriage, but you get what I'm trying to say. There was no scene. There was no blood. There was nothing. So I thought she was just having cramps. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's something that happens. You get these um I'm, I'm, is it cramps or there's something that they call it. there's a word for it i can't remember right now there's a word for it um i can't remember those of you girls that are watching my channel you know what i'm talking about um you know there's a there's a specific words for it when you're when you're going when you have a pregnancy or when you're in the late stages of pregnancy or sometimes it can happen early too so you guys know there's a word for it it's not cramps but it's something there's there's another word for it that happens but it comes in waves you get what i'm saying especially when you're near to giving um birth it, it comes in waves so um it's just that's where i was getting confused but then i was like okay they're going to get maggie help that's cool but then everybody's decided to leave and i'm like why are you leaving all these rookies at home all of these rookies, man. I think the only person that was left back that was not a rookie, you know, who was it? I'm trying to remember because it looked like everybody left, to be, to be honest. I'm trying to see. I think it was Tara, but they're not going to show Tara because she was pregnant in real life. So they're probably not going to show her during an episode like this and they were like oh when she finds out i'm like why doesn't she know that denise is dead yet but they probably didn't have her available for to to shot the episode that's why they didn't show her because she she didn't show up at all in these three final episodes so i'm guessing because she was pretty big when um she was pretty big i don't know how far along she was of course i don't know that um but it looked like she was pretty big um during the episodes that we were watching when we saw her so she was definitely pregnant in real life during those episodes. It was obvious. I talked about it. But she was the only one there worth anything. Everybody else, I mean, what are you, you going to depend on? Freaking, what's his name? Walker or whatever? Um, I think his name was Walker. I don't remember his name. Um, Deanna's son. I don't remember his name. But I think he's Walker. The guy that's sleeping with Rosita right now. I think he's the only one that got left back. Um, that was, I would say, worth their salt. I mean, I know everybody was training, but I think that's what our entire main cast, bro. The entire main cast that we've gotten to know as family, every single one of them was out. You know what I'm saying? Father Gabriel was back there, but Father Gabriel is, is still a rookie to me. Like, yeah, he's a savage now, but he's still like a rookie to me. You know what I'm saying? And then... You know, Judith is also an OG. You know what I'm saying? But what Judith gonna do? She can't do nothing, little ass kicker. She's still little. <laughs> She's still a baby. She can't do nothing. Man, this episode was absolute. These episodes are absolutely brilliant. And then in episode two, so I'm looking forward to seeing 
what happened at home. They didn't show me that in episode two. I thought it was going to at least show us, you know, what happened when they got back to Alexandria. As in, you know, you know, it would have been a sad episode. I know. I know next episode we're probably going to see that. I'll probably do that um, day after tomorrow or even tomorrow. That's how much I'm enjoying this series right now. I'll probably just do this every day until I finish season seven. Then we'll jump into season eight. We'll see how things go. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to see what is going to be the repercussions of this. How is Rick going to respond from this? Is he going to pull his bootstraps up and make a plan to take Negan out? What is going on? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's early season seven. This dude looked like he could be the, the villain that's left. You get what I'm saying? Like he could, he could, he, he could do three or four seasons and I wouldn't mind if he continue, if they continue to write this kind of fire, you know what I'm saying? If they, if they do that, I think the series can go on for a very long time. It's not a lot of series that goes for six, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not a lot of series that goes for six, seven episodes, seasons, and still this good. Like, right now, you know what I'm saying? The Walking Dead is up there, in my opinion, as in longevity, as in sustaining a, a certain theme, and you know what I'm saying? Just good writing over a, a good amount of time. And I can imagine these actors must be making a lot of money even now during the show. I don't know who's alive, who's dead. I don't know, but I'm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, at this point that we're at right now, like uh, that I'm at right now, like I've seen enough, man. I've seen enough. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen enough. Uh, somebody was telling me in the comment section, hey, I remember when you were saying, <laughs> I remember when you were saying this series need, <laughs> you need to see some people die. <laughs> and now you're like, no, nobody needs to die. <laughs> well, that's how it is when you get attached to characters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I remember those days, those early days of The Walking Dead. I was like, people need to die if if you're going to grab people to really watch the series. And they have done that. You know what I'm saying? And now I don't want to see anybody die, <laughs> you know, because I've gotten so used to these characters. Like, I want to see them die. You know, you know, I become so attached to these characters, especially Rick. You know what I'm saying? I think if it was revealed that it was Rick, I probably would have you would have seen tears. I'm pretty sure I would have cried if they killed Rick in 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 the season opener I probably would have cried I'm not even gonna joke but um I could have you know what I'm saying like for Glenn it was just it just the way I it, it caught me so off guard you know what I'm saying it caught me off guard and I I almost I almost did I almost, I almost cried, you know what I'm saying? I almost cried for him. My voice was breaking like crazy, and I stopped talking because I know my heart was racing like crazy, and I just, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep the crying to a minimum on the channel. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, these five episodes were so good. I'm super interested in this guy, King Ezekiel, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that he's at least trying to fight back against them by feeding them, basically, um, basically, pigs that have eaten, um, the, the, the dead, the walkers, so, yeah, at least he's fighting back in some way, and he's not just giving, giving them what they want, but they have a lot, so, you know what I'm saying, um, I guess they have a different deal because it doesn't seem like they're giving up half. It seems like they're giving up just enough to satisfy them. You know what I'm saying? Like, just enough to satisfy them. So, hey, I don't know if they weigh it. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they weigh it. I don't know how they know they're giving them half or enough. You get what I'm saying? Um, but that's what I'm like, man. That's the thing. Like, when it comes on to the whole faction of Negan, they have multiple places, not just one. So it's kind of like you knew they were big, but you didn't know the extent. It's a huge freaking organization this guy has, bro. This new guy is running a crime syndicate right now, and the day ain't playing around. And I, you see why he's the leader and why people want to follow him. 
Because it's like, yo, I don't want to get my head bashed in. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, it looks like you got to be just as ruthless as them too. Um, so I guess we'll get to see that. But anyways, guys, I've been rambling on for 25 minutes. This is crazy. Anyways, thank you guys so much. If you watch this entire thing, don't forget to leave a like. But make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought. I'm going to try to edit this down. Um, uh, I'm going to try to edit this down a little bit. You know, kind of taking out those pauses and stuff that I do. So that you don't have to deal with that. Okay. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Hopefully you guys watch all five episodes, man. I appreciate y'all so much for showing love on The Walking Dead. I know it's, it's still not a bunch. It's about I think we went from like doing like um 75 to 100 views on on my walking dead reactions to a steady um like over the past month i would say we've been doing close to 200 um per upload so it's a good good times good times we, we, we're we're heading there we're getting there so i'm not arguing or anything i'm just happy that you guys are actually watching it some people that are that never watched a show before is watching it with us so i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all so much don't forget to subscribe if you are new it's more walking dead to come we still got what three seasons to catch up um after this one so uh, we might i might be taking a break from the walking dead after this season we don't know yet depends on what happens i'm looking at there's something that i have planned for the channel and is something big but i'm not ready to announce it yet because i want to make sure everything is in place for this to be done i'm not telling you guys what it is just know that there's something big coming up for the channel something that i'm going to do for y'all so just look out for it anyways thank you guys so much um i appreciate y'all see you guys later man peace